following the progress of it. Right. So let us know what what is what it is that you did first of all. Well, we you know for all this time we've been asking the banks for the original note. And I think we've already determined that they don't have it. So it's kind of like you know all this other stuff that people do. You know, trying to attack a little violation of a procedure here or there. It's like hacking at the branches of a tree. Mm. Now by going right after the Federal Reserve and and uh, asking for the note or, or proof that they have the note and when they got it and how much money the bank got through their transaction when they cashed that note in at the discount window of the Federal Reserve, we're hacking at the roots of the tree. You know, that's the proof. Absolutely. There is no better proof than that to prove that the bank doesn't have standing. That's what everybody in this country needs to do that has a mortgage, even those that, that have lost their homes and everything else, subpoena the Federal Reserve. And, and, and when the Federal Reserve gets, gets buried in subpoenas, maybe it'll send a message to them that we're catching on to their fraud. Mm -hmm. yeah, there's no statute of limitations on fraud. It could be if you lost your house 20 years ago. Yeah. That's doesn't, right. You need matter. to you need to look up Hazel Atlas Glass, 1944, and establish that there's no statute of limitations on fraud. Yeah, that's and that's something that people, even if you've already you're, you're like trying to recover from the situation, not to lose sight of that you. Right. This is not over. Yeah. It, the the older it is, the the longer it is you've lost it. You may have lost your house. The less likely li likely it is you'll get the house back, but you you would be compensated for its value. Which is huge. Yeah. Because you, you can go after, go after triple damages. Triple damages. <laughs> wow. That is great. Well, here, here's something that not too many people know about. It's called the 1926 Banking Act. And in that, it's, it's stipulated that for every $2 on deposit, the bank could loan out up to $100. The interest rate was to be 2%. Number three was that, that if the borrower defaulted, the bank was required to write the loan off. And the fourth item was that foreclosures were prohibited. Now, that's never been repealed. It's, it's still a valid, valid law. It has been removed from the law library, so because they buried it. Yeah. I know somebody that has a copy of it, and they have with it, they have a stack of, of documents about three reams of paper of court cases where people have used that 1926 Banking Act to get their foreclosures dismissed. Oh, wow. So it's just a matter of time before that comes out, and that's, that's why all these foreclosures are illegal. And when you think about it, when, when a bank loan is just a bookkeeping entry, why should a bank have the right to take your property if they don't have a damn nickel invested in exactly. it. Exactly. Yeah, so true. And we've got documents. I sent them to to uh, Sheriff Mary. I sent them to Brenda. And I sent them to Sheriff Conley in New Hampshire tonight. <laughs> tonight? Yep. Yeah. And what they need to do is they need to take those to a law professor and, and get them to prove that they're wrong. That'll be so fun. That'll keep them busy. You send him to Conway? Sheriff. Uh, Sheriff Christopher Con Conley in New Hampshire, Conley. Carroll County, New Hampshire. He started a uh, mortgage fraud task force, and that's what needs to happen here. Yeah. I've been just kind of waiting. I'd, I'd like to see Sheriff Mary do that because yeah. we could bring him up to speed pretty fast. Yep. Yeah. You know, mm -hmm. maybe they don't want to because they don't want to be aware of the fraud because they want to continue doing what they're doing for the courts. Right. But, you know, it's all going to come out. The people had it. Right. Yeah, they had it. Yeah, you know, they ruined my life. They took my business. I had over 200000 in 20 years invested. And then they took my house, which was worth almost 200000 Now, was your business attached to your house? What's that? Your business, was it attached to your house? Basically, yes, through a fraudulent document. Mm. It was tied to the real estate. And that's all fraudulent. I think they converted my truck loan into a mortgage-backed security and sold it out. Really? Yep. Also, there's a uh, $64,000 loan that got filed in my name that I knew nothing about until just a year or two ago. 
that that some that credit union did. Really? Yeah, and I don't know where that money went. Somebody tucked that in their pocket somewhere, but it showed up on my credit report. And you didn't sign anything? Nope, I knew nothing about it. So wow. if there's a signature on there that looks, that supposed spells out my name, it's not my signature. It's fraud. Mm -hmm. Wow. These guys don't care. Nope. They don't care at all. Yeah, just just a little tidbit of courtroom stuff. If an attorney ever hands you a piece of paper that's just a photocopy and asks you, "Is that your name?" It's you can say you can lawfully say no, because it's a photocopy. Well, speaking of copies, they use a copy of your promissory note to file into court. Mm -hmm. So what would be wrong with taking a picture of your house and walking into court and say, here's a copy of my house to satisfy your copy of the note? <laughs> Think about oh, that's it. That's right. Same thing, ain't it? <laughs> that's right. Yep. <laughs> yep. Or, or ask the judge to say, if I were to, cut, to make a photocopy of a $20 bill and take it downtown and, and try to spend it, right. I'd be thrown in jail. Right. This is exactly <laughs> what the bank is doing. Only they're stealing hundreds of thousands of dollars worth of property. Right. Yeah. They're hmm. making a photocopy of the note and trying to pass it off as the real thing. And, and what are they and doing? And here's a copy of my ass so you can kiss it. Beautiful night out here. The it's very nice. Yeah. Very calm. Stars are out. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they don't eat much. Yeah. <laughs> Didn't you say you could see the Milky Way up here normally? Yeah, if we, if we kill all the lights, then, then, uh, then you could yeah. probably see it. It is a fairly clear night. On the cooler nights, you know, especially in, in, the, 